Greetings coders. We're going to start today by learning a little bit about HTML buttons. So I've got this uh, slideshow up and I'm just going to follow these instructions and you can follow along with me. It starts by talking about the syntax that you need to build an HTML button. So let's get a Visual Studio Code document going right now. I'm here inside my week 13. I'll just say new file and I'm going to name it button.html. Why am I not naming it index.html? Because I'm never going to host this on the World Wide Web. So since it's never going to be a page on the World Wide Web, I can name it anything I want. I'm just practicing. All right, so it talks about the syntax to build a button, an HTML button. And it's just the button start tag and the button end tag but you're always going to give it a type. So let's begin with our HTML skeleton. Let's give this a title of buttons and JavaScript. So in between here, let's start with the button tag. There it says start and the end tag. So we're going to first give it a type attribute, type equals. And the type of button I want this to be is a button. There are other types you can choose. You can make it a text, a submit, a reset. But today, we're just going to learn about buttons for now. So I've got a button tag. It starts and it finishes. And in between it, I'm going to put some text. It's going to be, it's going to say, click me. C-L-I-C-K, me. I'm going to save this and let's take a peek. Open with live server. And now we have a button that is clickable. Of course, it's not doing anything yet because we have not added any JavaScript. Let's go back to our slideshow and see what the next thing to do is. So we're going to add a second attribute and it's an on click attribute. And it's going to say on click equals, right? This is the attribute format equals and then a quote mark here and a quote mark here. And what we'd like to do is when somebody clicks it, we would like to get an alert that says hello world. So let's type uh, I'll maximize my space here, get these two side by side, and do that second attribute. On click, you can see it's allowing me to finish there. Now I'm going to type inside here, alert parenthesis, single quote, and hello. Oops. Hello world. I end with my single quote. I end with my parenthesis. But then, as you can see, it's on the next line, is the rest of my uh, attribute style and my closing tag. So now let's save this. Let's go back to our click me. When I click it, now I get an alert that says hello world. So. Let's go back to the slideshow and see if that's it. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh no, there's this link. It's just fun to look at all the different kinds of buttons you can see. Oops, let's go better to it. So here on W3 Schools, just so you can see, there's a bunch of CSS styles you can do to a button. If you look at this, you can have a default button. That's what we built. But a link button can be, it can have a background color of that green, no border, text color of white. You're familiar with all these things, the padding, the text align, text decoration, none, display, inline block. I think we've talked a little about that. But these are simply ways to decorate your buttons. And this page will give you lots of different options for buttons that are big, for buttons that are rounded, cornered, or circular, so or just outlined. 
So you can see, oh, right, some hoverable buttons. Um, you can see that there's a lot of fun things you can do with buttons. Uh, I'll end this tutorial here, and we will move on to the next.